Hey guys, it's me Greg again, and I would just like to show you my new trick. Not really a trick, but it's a card flourish, and you know how card flourishes look. They're super cool, and just shows the audience that you're very experienced with your card tricks and such. And here's my card flourish for you. It's cutting the deck with one hand, just normally you would do this to cut it. But that's old school and it's not classy. Here's another way. Right there. And how you're going to do this is like this. Just It's basically that. It's basically doing that. But what you're going to do is you're going to either hold it like this and I'll show you the other hand thing later. Um, you're going to hold it like this. You're going to take your thumb. You're going to take your thumb. And you're going to swing it onto this side. Take off a few pieces of card. And then just put the bottom on top. Another way to hold it is like this. See how my hand is? Put it right there. This way on the bottom, you have a little bit of support. See? And... Just, it's just going to be a little harder to reach over here, but it's a lot simpler to put the cards on top, which is probably the most difficult part of the, the card flourish. Reaching over, you could take a little time. Um, that's my card flourish. Oh, and if you want to know what type of cards I use in all my tricks... It is a bicycle playing cards. Um, it actually says bicycle on the ace of spades if I can find it. One second. Uh, ace of spades. Ace of spades. Ace of spades. Ace of spades. Found it. Right there it says bicycle 808. Made by um, the U.S. Card Co. in Cincinnati, Ohio, and they're bicycle playing cards. They have an air cushion finish, so that when you go like, th you, they're easy to handle. They just slide right off of each other. It's not that slippery at first. At first, it's gonna be kind of be uh, kind of weird, like to use airflow cushion finish, but. After a while, they feel really nice in your hands, and I'm not good at this, but I wasn't good at this ever, and I'm never going to be good at it. It's a one-handed spread, but I could kind of do a good one-handed uh, one handed spread, not a two-handed spread with them. They're decent cards. They spread really well. They're, they shuffle. They don't get stuck together when I shuffle like this. The riffles, um, when they get old, these cards are kind of soft on the end, so they get sticky. Depends on where you use them. If you use them outside, of course, they're going to get humid and, you know, all that. Um, right now, they're pretty good, considering I'm on a bed doing this riffle. They spread really nicely if I were to do one of these. They don't get stuck together. I could count the, I could count the cards just by doing this. And I could count the cards if I wanted to. And they're really good for one-handed cuts. As you can see, I just took off a few there. I could do it with this way, too. They're really good cards. And that's my one-handed cut. I hope you master it and get it down. This way you could use it in one of your games or your tricks or something. Uh, that's it. See you next time.